Hey guys, Running Kimono here. So it is Sunday, August the 11th of 2019, and we're going to talk about the best uses of the 10% off of 15 coupon over at Walgreens this week. So if you hop into your coupons folder, type in multi-brand, this coupon may or may not still be around, uh, but it was popping up last week, and I know a lot of you did clip it. So these two were showing up, which include a... Um, 10% off of a $15 purchase, along with a 30% off of $30 purchase. Now, I know that this is working this morning. I have received many messages from various shoppers um, saying, hey, it's working perfectly. Um, so <laughs> I'm throwing this in your lap. Would you like to see the 30% off video later this afternoon? And if I do it, I cannot go do a haul. So if I get 500 thumbs up, I will definitely... Um, do a secondary video. I'm leaving it up to you. So um, please let me know um, what you would like. And again, with this multi-brand coupon, not every account gets it. Uh, it is always a your mileage may vary. The more that you shop, the more that you get. People say, well, can I call customer service and complain? The answer to that is no, because they don't have an answer for you. It is random. They select certain cards. Often if you shop there a lot, or if that is your preference store, you are um, going to be receiving these coupons. Okay, and just to throw it out there, in case something doesn't work on your end, please call customer service and they will try and work with you if it's a missing coupon. If the booster doesn't come off perfectly, you have the option to call their customer service line. And um, usually uh, one of their reps, uh, they're always really nice over there. They will try to make um, any situation right. Um, and I always respect that a lot with Walgreens. Okay, so let's look at this coupon a little more thoroughly. So it's a 10% off of 15, which isn't very exciting. Um, so if you had clipped both of them, the smallest one will always come off first, even if you have a $30 basket. So you have to do the smallest uh, purchase first. And as you can see, the date here is from um, August the 11th to the 17th. That's how I'm getting the dates. You need to go into the coupon information and boom, there it is. And the secondary coupon that we have is a 30% off a $30 purchase, again, with the same expiry dates. And please remember the smallest one will always come off first so you have to use that first or unclip it and if you unclip it you're probably not going to get it back to your store card but hey it's only a dollar fifty of savings so it's your choice if you only wanted to do one this week so a 10 percent off of 15 is basically a dollar fifty of savings a 30 percent off of 30 is nine dollars of savings basically go to a percentage off calculator or do it on your cell phone it's pretty easy to figure that out these are of a one-time use as well now if you have a 2 off of 15 or a 9 off of 30 for either a percentage off or like a 2 off of 15 or those sorts of coupons it is okay to use points to pay down your balance just throwing it out there, people have been doing it with a lot of success, so boom, there it is. Now, if you might have one of these, get 10,000 points when you spend 30. Because it has the word spend in there and there's points in front of it, if you have something like this, you have to pay cash for the balance. That's not negotiable, um, so you might not even want to do it because it's going to be a lot out of pocket uh, for this specific booster. Now, I, how I've had the most amount of success uh, doing this is I basically put my store card information in first, you either punch in your phone number, get the cashier to scan your smartphone, or if you have one of those classic cards for the your store card information, get the cashier to scan that first. The cashier then will scan all of your merchandise. Ask the cashier to scan every single item separately, especially if you have coupons on every single item. At that point, you're gonna present your paper coupons after all of the merchandise is scanned. And then after the cashier presses the pay button at the very, very end when everything is being totaled up, that's when you'll see the, the coupons come off along with your percentages off. If you don't see the savings, void the transaction or pay for it and call customer service for missing points. If you might have one of these, uh, they are called Register Rewards or Catalinas. Catalinas, cats, basically the company that is responsible for this, it's called Catalina. That's why a lot of us old school couponers call them cats, but they're also known as register rewards. So can you use this with one of those um, boosters? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. Um, yes, you can use a register reward with these boosters and these various baskets that I'm going to present to you. However, you must have an item for the coupon, which is dubbed as a filler. Here's an example. If you have four items in your basket with four manufacturer coupons, well, that register reward also needs an item to attach to and part of the line limit. 
So say you have two register rewards that you wish to use in this basket, you're going to need two filler items. And basically what a filler item means is something extremely cheap in the store that the cashier will scan that that register reward will attach to. And even if it's a 40 cent pencil with a $7 register reward, it doesn't matter as long as, as, long as your basket is high enough that it can grab um, the overage from that register reward. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, yes, you can use it. Okay, guys, first two scenarios are with digitals, very user friendly. Um, you're going to need your cornerstone, which is your 10% off of 15. Make sure that you have that loaded to your store card. And the next thing that we're going to be grabbing is uh, three of these Colgate toothpastes. They are three for 12. And there's a special here that when you buy three, you get 5,000 points. And then there's also a five off of three digital coupon that showed up this morning. So please make sure that you have that loaded to your store card. And there's also a printable for this on coupons.com as well. And we're also going to make sure that we're going to grab a box of the Pop-Tarts for $1.88. And uh, guess what showed up this morning? This little uh, 50 center and it's valuable for um, one of the cereals or a box of Pop-Tarts. So if you need those, great little coupon to have. And then we're grabbing one of either the Purex detergent or the crystals. So it's an either or grab one of them for $1.98. And this morning, guess what showed up also? We have a dollar off um, one of the crystals or the liquid detergent. So you choose whichever one you want. So let's look at the math really quickly. We're grabbing three of those Colgate toothpaste for $12, a box of the Pop-Tarts for $1.88. If you wish to choose cereal here, you can use cereal, but I'm going with Pop-Tarts. And then one of the Purex is for $1.98. The total for that is $15.86. Um, $1.58 is coming off, which is 10% off, along with $6.50 of digital manufacturer coupons that we showed you in the slides previous. The new total is $7.78, not including your tax. Now, if you wanted to use 5,000 points to pay that down and pay $2.78 out of pocket, that's totally cool. You're going to get back your 5,000 points from the Colgate offer. So it basically makes it 278 for the five items or 55 cents each. And if you have um, the percentage off or like a two off of, um, you know, 15 uh, coupon or whatever booster, you can definitely use points. But if it's like 2,000 points when you spend um, $15, um, you have to pay cash for the balance for that one. Okay, scenario two, again, with digitals, very newbie friendly. We, again, we need our cornerstone, which is the 10% off of 15. Please make sure that you have this guy loaded to your store card. And I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to be grabbing three of the Crest products at $2.99. And when you buy three, you're getting back a $7 register reward. Now this morning, a whole treather trove of uh, coupons showed up. So I'm going to show you here in the next slide. So the dollar for the Crest tube, a dollar for the Crest slash scope mouth rinse and then a dollar off of the Oral-B toothbrush. Please make sure that you're grabbing one of each item along with having these three digital coupons loaded to your store card. And then we're also going to be grabbing two packs of the Bic stationery priced at 99 cents, maybe highlighters because that's a really great little deal. And a couple weeks back, we had this $1.50 off of two. So if you still have that loaded to your store card, boom. There was also a manufacturer and last weekend's insert for that. And then we're grabbing two of the Butterfingers candy bars at 39 cents, which is like a really cheap price considering that most candy bars are 99 cents. And then this cute little 50 cent off of two showed up this morning. So make sure that you have that loaded uh, to your store card. And then the final thing that we're grabbing is one bottle of the Garnier Whole Blends shampoo priced at 3.99. And there was a $2 coupon a couple weeks back. Hopefully you loaded that, but it drops that down to dirt cheap. Okay, so let's look at the math, guys. Three of those Crest products is $8.97. Two of the Bic Pen packages at $0.99 cents each is $1.98. Two of the Butterfingers Candy Bars, that's $0.78. Cents. And one of the Garnier Whole Blend Shampoo is $3.99. Adding all of those good items up, that's a total of $15.72. 10% is coming off, so $1.57 is coming off. And you have $7 of digital manufacturers that we showed you in the slides previous that's also coming off. You're left with a total of $7.15 out of pocket. 
Um, and you're going to get back a $7 register reward for Crest. So it makes this basket 15 cents for all of these products. And again, if you have a um, percentage off or if you have like a two off of 15 coupon, you absolutely can use points to pay down the balance. Um, and you know the drill for that. Okay, the last two um, scenarios that I have are for more advanced shoppers. And you might get confused if you're a newbie, but if you're awesome at taking instructions, feel free to do them. So we need our cornerstone, which is our 10% off of 15. And again, we're grabbing more toothpaste because some things in life are just predictable. We're actually grabbing six tubes of this. And because um, we're going to go totally crazy with this deal today. And also, we need this digital, which is the um, five off of three loaded to your store card, along with one printable from coupons.com. So hopefully you have a printer at home to print out one coupon. Here's the math, guys. Six tubes of that Colgate toothpaste is $24. $2.40 for the 10% is coming off, along with one five off of three from coupons.com. Um, so one paper coupon you're presenting along with the same digital. So you are left with paying $11.60 out of pocket. And since you're an advanced Walgreens queen, use 10,000 points. You're going to pay a buck 60 out of pocket plus your tax. You're going to get back 10,000 points, 5,000 for every three that you purchased, making it $1.60 for six or 26 cents per tube of toothpaste. So if you're really trying to build up your toothpaste, this is not a bad price point. Okay, the next deal that we have also is for more advanced sh um, shoppers. And this one has IVCs involved. Um, so the first thing that we're grabbing is two of the Icebreakers Mints. These are really great. Um, there is an IVC for this along with a manufacturer, which is a dollar off two. This showed up this morning. As you can see, if you look a little lower in the coupon, it says manufacturer coupon. So that's how you can see the difference between an IVC and a manufacturer coupon coupon. Okay, the next thing that you're grabbing is a bag of the um, Scott's paper towel. Um, so one of those. And there was a great little 75 center that showed up this morning. And as you can see, it's attaching to it. So that's fantastic. So make sure that you have that guy loaded. And it also says manufacturer two at the bottom. And then this one for the toilet paper, there's those 12 packs. So the 75 center will also come into play. And there's also um, IVC coupons that we're also utilizing for the paper towel and toilet paper. And the next thing that we're grabbing is um, three Crest products. And again, we need our three trusty, dusty manufacturer digital coupons. Okay, so here's the math for the final one. Two of the Icebreakers Mints is $3. One of the Scott's toilet paper is five. One of the Scott's uh, toilet paper, paper towels is also five. And then three of the Crest products is um, $8.97. They're priced at um, $2.99 a piece. So that right there is a total of $21.97. You gotta scan the IVCs found in the August Big Book of Savings. There's a dollar off two for the Icebreakers along with $1.25 for the toilet paper and $1.25 for the paper towel. Scan and both of those. Your new total is $18.47. At this point, 10% is coming off, which is $1.84, along with $5.50 of manufactured digital coupons that we showed you in the slides previous. You are left with paying $11.13 out of pocket, getting back a $7 re register reward, making it $4.13 for the seven items or 59 cents each. If you have, um, a percentage off or like, you know, $2 off when you spend 15, use points to pay down this balance because this is kind of a heftier one. Um, but $4.13 uh, for all of these good items, this might be a deal for you. And don't forget, Fetch Rewards has extra points for the Scott's products. So you'll get extra points for that as well. Uh, great little app. And if you have not signed up, they're giving an extra 3000 points for new signups this weekend. Check out all the info in the notes. You basically photograph a receipt. Um, use my referral code and I think it's up till tonight, you'll get an extra 3000 points and gift cards start right at 3000 points. So if you're interested, all of that good information is in the notes. That's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.